Hey guys, this is another Tech Knitwit Productions, and I'm doing a video that I promised I would do for you guys. We have our wonderful 2060 Super with 16 gigs of RAM. I do got a heatsink and an NVMe, but it's not gonna be purview to this video. And uh, how this video is gonna go is I'm gonna run a benchmark before and do a benchmark after, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, one thing I will note, if you're gonna be editing or streaming, you need 16 gigs. It's, there's just no ifs, ands about it. Uh, you try to play like PUBG or Modern Warfare and eight gigs just doesn't cut it. It bleed screens to death. You just don't have enough memory. So guys, give me a couple of seconds. I'm gonna get everything situated and we will get uh, the benchmark running and I'll be right back with you. Hey guys, we're back here and I got the, the benchmarking software already. And we're gonna do some unboxing of our upgrades. And then, uh, yeah, a couple of things I wanna talk about is uh, I had problems streaming PUBG. Ugh. I, I had problems streaming PUBG and recording PUBG with OBS, so that's why you want the memory upgrade. And of course, why not have a 2060 when it's the same cost as a 1660 Ti? So, of course, guys, I'm gonna get this benchmark running. Go ahead and hit run. And as this bad mamma jam is running, I'm gonna go and take everything out of its beautiful box. So first off, start off with our RAM. I actually don't know which. Yeah, this is probably the correct side. So I went with uh, XPG 16 gig silver, just because it was uh, you know cheap and it gave me DDR4 3200. No, I'm sorry, 3000 megahertz. PC 2400. Actually, I could probably leave it in this tray just so it doesn't get scratched up. Set this stuff off to the side. We don't need it anymore. Hmm, kind of tricky. So right now we're pull pulling uh, 40 frames per second. That is pretty much everything in a nutshell. Now I will have a heatsink and an NVMe. That'll be the other portion of this upgrade. Um, it's not gonna be in this video at this time right now. We got the ASUS 2060 Super, eight gigabyte version and 16 gigs of DDR4, 30, 2400, sorry, 3000 megahertz. And we got a 5902 score on TimeSpy. Incoming time-lapse guys.
All right, guys, so we got everything installed in here now and uh, get everything back together. It's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and plug everything back in and let's get ourselves a benchmark. Uh, give me a couple seconds. I'm going to get some stuff plugged in. A couple pointers. Uh, make sure you take this out, otherwise it, the plate will not go back in. Um, you've seen how I had to do the Jumanji stuff with the graphics card. I kind of did it. You know, I'll slow that down for you in the video. Kind of had to go like one angle, then another angle, then get like the front down and then slide it in, but it definitely fits. Um, and then of course this, the uh, eight pin power cable is also looped in down below. So you got to kind of unloop it because it actually needs to come up and forward more. So there, there, there's a couple caveats, but as you can see, it was very simple to do memory in a graphics card. Um, I don't know, how long do you think we were here? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, JR? Yeah, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to, to do this. Of course it was sped up, so it looks like two minutes to you guys. Um, I might slow it down in a couple spots that are key um, and stuff like that. But give me a couple minutes and I will get the benchmark loaded and we will see what this bad mamma jamma. Hey fam, we've got everything back together and we are gonna do some benchmarking to see how this thing compares in time spy. Uh, if I said fire strike before, I'm so sorry about that. But uh, one thing I want to tell you, talk to you guys about that's important is the drivers. Uh, they are very, very important. So make sure you go to NVIDIA and just type it into Google. You're going to go over here to hit support. And then you're just going to do uh, driver download. And don't, you don't have a Titan, but you do have, well, depending on what you have, you're going to pick here. You got your uh, GeForce, you got your RTXs, Titans, all that fun, you know, uh, jazz. Did they can they combine the RTXs to GeForce? It used to just say RTX. So you can come here and select your uh, you know RTX 20 series, and then which one you have. We got a 2060 Super, Windows 10, 64-bit, and go ahead and hit download. Now there's two versions of this you can get. You can get GeForce Experience, and GeForce Experience will allow you to hit stuff like this all Z, where you'll get your frame rate and recording and all sorts of nifty little tools. I'm this, I'm not going to go into this with this video. If you'd like a video about this, throw it down in the comments, and I'll do a short video about you know GeForce Experience. But anyways, this is going to allow me to see frame rates. I can also it gives me a little button if I want to record and and all that uh, bad mamma jamma. I will say that the fan is kicking out nice. The ventilation is working properly and. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I expect to probably double my frame rate with the 2060 versus 1660 Ti um, and 16 gigs of RAM. Now, you really don't need 16 gigs of RAM if you're not streaming or uh, doing recording type of stuff or editing um, with this PC. I, I mean, it would be a, a nice upgrade to have and it definitely would help you out with uh, your videos, but not needed. But if you're gonna do games like PUBG, Modern Warfare, real heavy memory intensive games like that, I can tell you right now with eight gigs of RAM and OBS running in the background, you will get blue screens of death the longer your matches go on. Um, it's happened to me about five or six times. I can tell you once I put 16 gigs in, it totally solved that problem. Um, so of course, if you got a 1660 Ti and that's happening to you and you're trying to do, you know, more streaming and stuff like that or video editing, that's gonna be one of your, you know, first upgrades. The second thing I would say is look at the Noctua cooler. There is a caveat, you either have to take the plate off or you have to get 12 millimeter screws and that's gonna be a video by itself and I will do that, that's gonna be up and coming. Um, along with the MVME uh, upgrade from 256 to 512, uh, just to give you a little bit more room. All right guys, I'm gonna get this benchmark started up and we're gonna see the comparison score from uh, a stock uh, 690-0073W, which has got a uh, 9400 uh, uh, i5 with eight gigs of DDR4 and a 1660 Ti with a 512, or sorry, no, a 256 gigabyte NVMe. Uh, remember, TimeSpy is gonna be DirectX 12, which isn't been fully optimized. So, you know, you get what you get with it. Um, it is supposed to be optimized for the RTXs, but of course you, you know, with that, anything that's new and, uh, you know, cutting edge, they, they sometimes don't always have it, uh, you know, all the bugs smoothed out yet. So uh, before this, we were pushing anywhere from like 30 frames to probably somewhere in the 40s. And now we look like we're pushing 60. Um, you know, that's, not bad at all for uh, this little tiny gaming machine. I, a double frame rate uh, increase is, is pretty nice. Of course, you are going from six gigabytes, six gigabits of uh, uh, VRAM 
to uh, eight gigabits if you're doing the 2060 Super. Probably gonna fast forward this, guys, because you don't want to sit here watching this whole video. So I'll meet you back at the end and we'll talk about the score. All right, guys, so we're done here and we had a score of 5902 and we've gone up to almost seven, you know, 7,846. I'd say that that's a good increase for just putting RAM and a, a, a GPU in. Um, I'd have to admit, you know, you're, that's what you're looking for when you're doing something, something like this. If you're gaming and stuff like that or you're editing, this is the type of increase you're going to want. This is what's going to you're going to actually see, you know, money that you spend um, you know, result in actual performance. Uh, stuff like drives and stuff is more of a convenience. Um, you know, you can't be tidy. You, you can be more lazy when you have larger drives and stuff like that. You can just throw files around and not have to delete them and clean up after yourself and all that other stuff. So I would have to say, guys, that this thing has uh, got two thumbs up from Tech Nitwit. And uh, yeah, you guys got any questions, concerns, comments, dislikes, likes, throw them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And Tech Nitwit out, guys. Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.